Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane. Now um, we're doing the roundup for the week and we're looking at the energies uh, that came through. So this morning we had uh, these two cards and these two cards that came in together but I switched them up because I can. <laughs> Um, this is the card of the fighters, and I felt that these should have been together uh, when I took them out this morning to look at them. And um, because they're both about the warrior fighting, that battle, that duality, that, you know, fighting and fighting and fighting. And these two, this one is called the teacher. And uh, I study and share wisdom with those who will value it. And then you have follow the leader. Ooh, there's nothing on the other side. Follow the leader on this one which talks about um, being an example, a teacher, a leader in your own right, and looking to others. This one is looking to others to lead as well. Um, it's like, you know, if you're, instead of, it, now that you've put down the sword, like we were talking about this morning, put down the sword now, Pisces, you're good, right? Um, I feel that we were such in a warrior pose for such a long time fighting the adversaries, you know, fighting your past, fighting the people who, you know, couldn't understand you, that now we're like finally just able to rest, to take a breath. And suddenly we're, we're, we were like, I, I don't know how to be that. I'm still swinging and there's, there's nothing there, right? So now they're saying, put down the sword and it's time to be the teacher. It's time to be, to lead. Okay, so be an example to all. And if you need more information, it's almost like saying, seek a higher power. Seek a, um, a teacher that's been there before. Ooh, close encounters. And I love this. Look, you have, yeah, there's that's four. Um, this one is ten. That's the one I'm looking for, right? Ten? Ten. So we have, and, and look at this. Hmm. We have a butterfly in here, and we have one out here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look, Pisces. That's the wrong book. Okay, 14. This is a time of connection that asks for you to be vulnerable and authentic. Let go of any social mass or construct you use to keep yourself apart from others. Lower your shields. <laughs> Uh, and allow yourself to step into a dance of, of intimacy. When you become close to people, you remind yourself that you're not alone. You're part of a beautiful, meaningful bond. At a deep spiritual level, there's so many lessons offered to you in this closeness. At a social level, intimate relationships help you ignite the spark of life that is the power of affinity. You flourish as a result of offering emotional honesty, a true desire for equality, love, friendship, and laughter. You aren't meant to be alone. Yet, sometimes we are wounded. Right here, there's that wounded warrior. And we build walls around ourselves so we don't get hurt again. It's time to be honest about yours. And step from behind that barrier and engage in all of life. This is a beautiful opportunity to allow your vulnerability to be your strength. As you choose to live in integrity and without, sac without artifice. artifice. Even in your work life, this mode of connection allows you to be truly present. When you live this way, everything and everyone thrives. You have no need to defend yourself when you're being truly and utterly you, empowered by your raw openness and willingness to be seen. In this way, you clo your close encounters will not fail you. There is much to celebrate when you stand eye to eye, shoulder to shoulder, sharing your heart. Oh, wow. All right, Pisces. So, also... A great way to be as a teacher don't you think don't you think the synchronicity in all of these cards in the readings recently Pisces have been just uh, amazing they've just been amazing all these decks yet they're just they just vibe with each other they just you find the right thing right something to be said here there's something to be said. Oh, okay. Wait. They're saying you're forgetting the teacher. You're forgetting the teacher. I am. Let me see here. Let's see here, Pisces. Oh. 
The desire to improve our life is one of the most basic needs. You would do well to read more and learn more about those who have done the work and attained goals similar to the ones that you seek. One of the best ways to improve your situation is to endeavor to improve yourself. Devoting time to self-improvement and self-directed study or even attending some kind of class or other learning environment will enable you to change your situation for the better in many ways. It's important to act as in as mature, learn, and wise a way as you are capable of. Basing your action on what is normal, expected, and accepted behavior, tradition, research, facts, and figures will give some results. You might be able to learn from a brilliant person, mentor, partner, or teacher who respects and treasures you as a wise person in training, who wishes to expand their consciousness, learn more, and grow. We are born with intuition, and it needs to be acknowledged and practiced like any skill, and can therefore always be improved by training with someone who is expert in using their sixth sense. So they're saying, find a wise teacher if you can. Listen to wise teacher if you can. And um, follow that. Follow that call. I like that. The teacher. The 10 to 10 closeness, be a leader, follow a leader, open your heart. The tower in reverse. The Six of Pentacles. Death, I already saw that underneath the deck. There's that transition card. Awakening. Intuition. Clarity, strength, six cups. There's that opening of the heart. Look at the middle, right? Wide open. And there's that journey, the full you going out there. Okay? Doing it. Doing it for yourself. There are Pisces. Alright. Let's put that warrior to one side and let's really follow this teacher and the open heart of the teacher. What's the next stage bringing in Pisces? What's really happening? I feel that the weight of the tower here, the rocks are falling. And they're falling. You're you're releasing these. I almost feel like this is coming from you. It's like, it's in reverse. It's being thrown down. I'm done with this. The Six of Materia shows a balance. Your own personal balance. You have been going through a transition or are going to a transition where you are awakening to... Um, Awakening to the renewal. You're getting into the rite of passage. A second chance at doing things differently. At resolving the issues from the past. And forgiving yourself and others. And just having a new way of thinking of things, right? It's all new colors, new perceptions. Everything that comes in. Crucial to this is your magical 3-0 right here. Your intuition, seeing things in a different way. The clarity of being optimistic and calm within. The strength, that inner strength that you carry with you, that's going to take you through all of this. The warrior has done his job, okay? Now it's up to you to um, put that strength inside of you and just let it be a calm and, and, um, and strong part of your being, okay? 
without having to swing the sword. So just holding the sword should be enough. Knowing that you have that strength within you should be enough. Okay? The openness, the open heart, the six of emotions. Finding that joy, that happiness, that calmness. Okay? Releasing yourself from whatever's left, from whatever blocks that you carry within yourself. Because these are yours. Nobody else's. Okay? You have the ability to free yourself. The light's always there. It's always there. And I love this picture because if you look at her, she's looking up, even though she's blindfolded. Almost like she feels. She feels that there is light shining through. I think we've always known that there's a light shining through. Yeah. And here's you, okay? The Fool. It's time. It's time for you to go on a new quest. We have been focusing so much on healing of the self and just going and fighting for what we want, what we believe in. It's time for you to go out there and not just live for yourself, but I, I believe it's like, I feel that a, a lot of these things are more like um, being an example to others. I really do. I feel that it's time for you to teach as you continue your learning process, as you continue going. I almost feel like they're saying you have all the tools um, now to create whatever you want. Okay? When you're down, you know that it has a purpose. Um, when you're up, you know to really latch on to it and take that abundance with you and, and feel that gratitude so that it propels you even further. You know that everything has a reason and a season and that you can use all these energies um, regardless of what you think, okay? There's clarity. There's intense clarity showing up in your life. So now it's time to be, I don't know, to show others how it's done, I guess, to move further. I would say this is like high school that you've graduated. Now it's time to look for a college. In other words, a teacher, okay, in whatever field you want to go into. If you want to be more feminine, look for somebody who teaches about being more feminine. If you want to be more masculine, see somebody who's teaching you how to be more masculine in a very kind way, okay. If you're looking to be a special, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know, you love coffee and you, you, you want to open a coffee shop, but you want to know how to make the coffee, look for uh, baristas, people who, um, you know, are good at their craft so that you can learn more, you can advance, okay? Everything is about advancing. And yes, everything will show a new obstacle, but now you're going at these obstacles as adventures, not obstacles. Oh, look, they have more of what I like. Let's go learn about that. And that's, I feel, what they're saying. Teach for the people behind you and learn from the people in front of you. And take a break. Take a break from the sword. You don't have to be swinging around with that sword anymore. Everything is expanding in your life. It's time to use that knowledge. It's, it's time for you to utilize it and do lots with it. I'm going to tell you, I'm glad that this week is over for readings. I'm looking forward. I'm taking a little break. You guys won't feel it. You don't feel anything. I plan these all ahead so uh, so that you never miss out. Um, I am going to do this, the Friday video that was yesterday, <laughs> because I do them out of order, for the Pulp Tarot. And I have memberships available as low as $3 a month. I'm going to be doing a walk, a flip through and also a deck interview with it. I can't wait to look through it. And I will be using it shortly in the readings. Thank you so much for being here. If you like these readings weekly, daily, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell to all as well. I don't trust YouTube for the algorithm because they don't always let you know I'm here after a while. They just, you know, stop notifying people. Or you may be gone on vacation for a week and then they think you're not interested anymore. So, 
if you would like to always know that I'm here when I post a video I do have a link in the description box that leads you to a website that is mine that will send you an email when I post so go ahead and do that thank you so much I'm sending you love light and blessings this is the end of this week we are be doing the month of April tomorrow and uh, yeah I think it's the month of April and the upcoming week and uh, Take care, Pisces. Stay strong. Stay beautiful. You are the wave of the future. Take care.